beautiful day. You're attacked, boom, beautiful day. Two, I check, he checks off. What's three? Stick. Stick. Check. Okay. And then add the last two together. Check and off. Stick. Check off. Yeah. Strike. Oh, you're gonna just dis- <laughs> they give it up. And I was uh, I was playing with uh, I think it was you, yeah. Yeah. And I did and I said, yeah, go ahead and dish on. And all of a sudden I just clamped down and that's it. If you're here, get that check hand up, get ready to intercept. Over the top. Yeah. Here, it's over the top. Yeah, see? Go four on four. One weapon, one weapon. One weapon, one weapon. One, two, three, four. No matter the size, we're even Steven. Now, if I go over here, oh, look at that. This leg is in front of that leg. So I just killed that one for the split moment. And look how far back that hand is. Look at me. One, two, three, four against two. I like those odds. Now, the, thank you very much, sir. Or, or, or. It's all up to you as to what kind of technique you want to do. But the idea is I step this way. Now, I'm offline here. My leg has got to move. Otherwise, I'm on the railroad tracks. He can take one step in and kick my leg. Oh, oh or foot trap. Yeah. So, now my foot's off the railroad tracks. And... I step in and I will counter his foot trap with a foot trap. Thank you for the idea. <laughs> and it, just give it away. Yeah, thank you. You're helping me, my man. This could be just this if you wish. I don't care. But the, but the key thing is, now on this one, I just want the person to stand here. And I want you to go to the side. You're here. And this is going to thread up under your arm. And now that I've touched his arm, have I moved his arm? No, right. What I want is I just want contact. What we may do later, we can do later, blah, 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 blah. And then, pardon? Very much sticky hands, yes. And then you go to the other side. You're here. And you touch here and just, aren't you walking to the left hand? Well, maybe, maybe. But that could be a trap, et cetera, because I said, the technique you use is up to you. So. Person stand, punch comes up, the hand opens. Now, punch comes up, the hand opens. That's, what the hell am I doing there? Well, it's really simple. I have a taller person. Crack. I'm going to hit him with the palm. I got a smaller person. I'm going to shoot him dead on. So, this gives you the concept of, okay, taller person, shorter person. I'm not going to necessarily go here. I'm not going to necessarily go here. One could, but palm up. Broom. Much easier to crack him here and, uh, you know, like not run into his teeth. Boom, straight forward. And the hand action. Okay, now we're in the Cinewale. And you end up doing what I call a 15-minute parry. 12 o'clock, 15 minutes. So, if he throws the punch, ha. simple, simple. Now, offensively, ping. simple, simple, simple. Does not have to be a defense. I can trap that hand down, crackle, like that, or crackle, like that. So with your partner, you know, so I'm going to punch at him, and he just does a 15 minute parry, and he goes, boom. Now, he's going to he's gonna step in, he's going to trap my hand. Boom. Too simple. What about your body punch? If, and there's just a tiny tweak here. If I go to my left, I'm shooting for a liver, shooting for a liver shot. Ain't nothing on this. God's green earth like a good liver shot. Except a good nut shot or a good kidney shot. <laughs> if I'm going to the other side, okay. 
I'm going to shoot for the rib point. Bang, here. Key thing is, that's sideways. You descend, not one bit. You don't want to throw anything into the way of your oncoming uh, punch. And you, and you, and you got the same thing. No, push his elbow. Ha! Right into here, you see. So on this one, you wouldn't. On this one, you wouldn't be necessarily trying to do hit with a down trap, but it works best if we're cross stance, his left to my right, and I can pop that elbow. And yes, you can do this, but you already learned that. Bang! Right into here. And remember yesterday, uh, I told you that when I engage, I, I get smaller. The knees are bent. So I can put body into this instead of just arm. So, sideways, bang, sideways, bang, or extension on the offense, pop that elbow, bang. Bang is the So, he throws the kick. Oh, this is interesting. I put him at a distance to where he can dirty my shirt. What's the matter with you? Sorry, your worship. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sinawali, bang, 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 bang. He throws the kick. I was going to hit him. You went over that way. I want. <laughs> okay, now, doesn't matter whether it's a front leg round kick, back leg front kick, give me the back leg front kick. Okay, now notice he's hitting at me where I am, yes? I give him air. I give him air, but at the same time, this is my safety. And I come right straight back in and hit. So the motion is... Now we've got the reverse V step. Backwards to this foot, clear, and bing. Now, if the person does a body punch, okay, you don't have time to do the step. He does the body punch. You know. Hi there, how you doing? Good. Kind of arrived there suddenly, didn't it? Despite my advancing age, I'm still quick. So, here, bing, on a body shot, but on a kick, I will remove the target. This is what I call the Patriot Act. We're here, and I've got my back fist, and right when I tag this, I'm gonna go past your shoulder. Okay? I'm gonna stretch his neck. But instead of going here, oink, and then hit, well, by the time I go, hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I give him, I give him an opening, he's gonna hit me. If I go here, he has no opening. That's the first one. Now the second one, bang, good. And this comes under, bam, and I hit him. So, bang, bang. If the person goes a guard like this, I shave my arm underside, pull, and I fire. So what we have is, we have a back fist, bang, we have a hook punch, and bang, like this. That's seven and eight. Do you follow what I'm saying? Three, Oops. four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. I start off with the back of the arm and I've got one. He parries. That turns right into two. Now I'm going to throw a back fist because I want to feed the backhand on the back for the three. Okay. Now I'm going to feed the backhand again so he touches the back of my arm. Here's the thread. Here's the four. Now he comes in, uh huh, and I pull down this way. Then I go five and he goes, push the punch and bang. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can also go one, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Now, these are training modules. 
the idea is that you touch, you have an option. And it's all based on touch. I'm here. What you gonna do, sweetheart? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, he did a double block. And he gave me a three. What a swell guy. Now, you do this, and you know, you have an uke who's not, you know, you go here and they block and they kick you in the shins or something. Okay. Now the next thing. Nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> because you're either touching the inside of my arm or you're touching the back of my arm. Now. <laughs> where, where is that? Okay, now, here's the interesting thing. And you can put your cell phones down unless you want to hear the lecture. Okay, here's the interesting thing. What I chat about is that you learn technique, you learn technique, you learn technique, you drill technique, you drill technique. After a while, things season. It's like you're making a stew. You have all the raw materials, then you set it, you set it to boil for an hour or, or, or you put it in the crock pot, it goes over six hours, and it seasons. Then what happens is, Whatever comes out of the toolbox for the appropriate moment comes out of the toolbox. See, this is why when I did the uh, disarm reversals, I didn't do a technique. Doing the, uh, 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 the, the tactical forms, okay, he could throw the punch, and I've got tactical form one, oh yeah, thank you. And I just went into thread and hit. So the moment I contacted, bang. This is why I said they're, they're, they're sister actions. Tactical forms and then the trapping set. Now, I was sparring with a buddy of mine, old buddy of mine. I, we met as brown belts like in 1964. He was driving through town, going down to a summer camp. He was a tank sudo player. And one of the smartest tournament players I'd ever, ever met. Danny, I'm coming down. You want to train? Sure, why not? We're sparring. Somehow, I don't know how, our hands, they collided and they crossed. Out of the toolbox, a trap and hit came. It was the dad gumless thing. Now, I kept on a poker face because I was not going to let him know how surprised I was that that came out of the toolbox. I most certainly didn't plan. Our arms, arms got tangled, collided, and he went, bang, and I hit him. And he looked at me and says, oh, that came from your knees, didn't it? With a very knowing look in my face. And then we kept talking, oh, you see. I told him later that I was just as surprised as he was. But this is the concept that I have of, okay, you learn moves, et cetera, et cetera, then things season. Then things season. Now you've got the crock pot and it's filled with stew and yeah, you've got all these flavors, but you don't have just you know, the one hard lumpy tater over here and uh, the piece of stew meat over here that you have to chew 55.